I love Monday. And the reason I love it is because it's the beginning of a new opportunity, not the beginning of a week. But you have a choice of how you're going to invest your time in this week in order to be able to build your business. Now, I will grant you that if you live on the other side of the world, it's already Monday night. So you can tell me how you did today. Um, if you live in Europe, it's already you're already eating lunch and you can tell me how you did this morning. But wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in, every single day presents an opportunity for you to either take advantage of or waste. And you have to do it in a way that benefits you first, your family second, your your close friends and associates third, your business fourth, your customers fifth, and then post your successes or your praise on social media. I spent a long time uh, yesterday on social proof, which is becoming more and more revel relevant, prevalent, and necessary in your life. Uh, we are judged as a person and as a business by others, and we're judged immediately if it's a book that you read or a restaurant that you ate at or a hotel that you stayed in or a place that you visited or just something that you did, you get a rating and your rating is somewhere between one and five and you live or die by that rating. Hotels don't ask you anymore how your stay was. They were, they're begging you for some positive statement on TripAdvisor. Same with any business. They all want your five. Are you? Huh? So what's going to bring you success this week and not just success, but fulfillment, the pleasure, the feeling inside of you, that accomplishment, that achievement that you either help somebody or won somebody. Um, last night at dinner, we got a chance to help a, a family business and we're going to do it. And it's I, I can double their business right here at the beach and I'm going to do it. And I love the fact that I have the opportunity to do it. They, when you're in your own place, you don't see everything. You see what you see every day. If somebody else looks at it, clean opportunity to do better. Now, uh, luckily, I have been helping other businesses since 1976. Think about that. And fixing their interior and exterior. So I have 40 years of experience in doing this more actually, but I don't want to brag about it too much. The bottom line is this, you have the same opportunity and I want to know how you're taking advantage of it and what are you doing for other people that fulfills you, gives you a few bucks and makes you feel like you're being more successful and more helpful at the same time. This is an opportunity for you. And I, I don't know whether you look at it as, oh, oh so it's Groundhog's Day or whatever the hell it is. No, no, no. It's, it's a new day. And you get to help other people today in a way that you never had an opportunity to help them before. The world has changed and it's kind of upside down. And your ability to help keep it stable or make it right side up is in your hands. You're not helpless. You're not hopeless. You're hopeful and you're helpful. And I think that if you look at it from that perspective, dude, world is your oyster and make sure it's from the West Coast because they're less salty. I, I actually, I like oysters, but only if they're steamed. I just can't eat them raw. I, I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. Clams, the same thing. I can eat the little clams, but they got to be in spaghetti with red sauce Ooh. and Dolce in Charlotte. The restaurant is the ultimate United States restaurant for uh, Linguini Mongole. And, uh, but if you're in Paris, uh, you have to go to Rue Bastille and there is a uh, Auberge de Venise uh, mm. Italian restaurant. I know I'm thinking of so it right good. now. I know, I know. There's little bowls of olives on the table, and I eat two bowls before we start. I take some off of somebody else's table. <laughs> anyway, that's a different olive story. 
and uh, I'm here for you this morning. So what's up, you guys? And what what are you hoping for? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Uh, and Justin is first. There are no problems, only solutions. John Lennon, be a part of the solution, not the problem. Justin Benton. Justin and I had a conversation yesterday about music, um, and we decided that we're Lennon Beatles, not McCartney Beatles. And it's not like I'm not a McCartney Beatle, but I'm more of a Lennon Beatle. You? Um, Lennon or McCartney, why don't you put it in the notes? Just put Lennon, McCartney, whatever. And you can even put your favorite song in there if you want to. Uh, but only a Beatles song, not a John Lennon song or a Paul McCartney song, only a Beatles song. Cool? Um, I'm a Norwegian wood guy, but, you know, maybe you can drive my car. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, so much for that. Uh, Phil, good morning from Calgary. I know it. Benton, yeah, I got it. And Howdy from Hell, perfect. Joachim, what a beautiful family Joachim has. And Eric, I'm trying to rearrange my schedule so that Thursday works. I'll get back to you sometime today. <laughs> Good morning from Memphis, Martin and Williams. Good morning. Wrestlers are in first in the morning. Super Monday, Brad, Larry, Elliot. Ooh, cool. Thank you, Elliot, and the very same to you. Rick, Colorado, Eric says, <laughs> and oh, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Rochelle Flume, Palmera Flores. Where are you from? Roche Flume. Wow, what a beautiful name. Good morning. Uh, tell me where you're from. Good morning, Jeffrey Gittimer and the nation. Good morning, Ken Walls and Ohio. Either way, you run the day or the day runs you, Jim Rohn. You know, I love Jim. I love everything about Jim Rohn. If you don't own um, something of Jim Rohn, something's drastically wrong with that, how you're thinking. The Art of Exceptional Living was a series of cassettes that I, I and, and CDs I had, I had to buy several copies because I wore them out. Listening, you always get something new, always, always. Share it out. Thank you, Walls. Come on, you guys. Share it out. Come on, right now. Just hit the share button. Boom. You won't regret it. I promise you. We're growing every day. More and more people are watching every day. More and more people are getting value every day. Get your friends involved, please. I'm doing this for free. Every day. I'm, I'm pushing 160 days. It makes me so happy to do this. You have no idea. I love this. It's now a routine, a part of my morning routine. Yesterday, I basically finished the, uh, the text in my book, Go Live. See if I can get it up here to where you can see the book on the wall, which is my normal procedure for doing a book. And I want to know if you're writing your book and what's the first chapter? Toru, good evening, and good evening to you, sir. Great start of the week, I concur. Bam, don't stress over trying to lift average people up. Take joy in improving with excellent people. Agreed, Exa exactly, Eric. You can't, I, I was taught early on, there's gonna be three or four people in your audience that are not paying attention. And what speakers do is try to win those people over. I don't, I ignore those people. They're losers, they came in all pissed off, they, they've had years of being pissed off. They're going to be pissed off during my entire talk, and they're going to leave pissed off, no matter what I do. You're not going to be able to please everybody. Um, and I, I'm, I please the people who want to be pleased. Tearing it up in Louisville this morning. I'm so happy to hear that. New York City, boom. Wyatt, what brings fulfillment and success? Starting today with you, Jennifer Gittimer, Gittimer Nation, have a dynamite. Oh, thank you, Wes. Wes, thank you, dude. Thank you very, very kindly. Ah, from Toronto, Canada, looking for places to weave that thread of kindness through the fabric of friendship as I continue this journey through life. Robert, good thinking, dude. Very good thinking. Belgium is in the house. Alan, exactly. Phil, thank you. I mean, look at all these people. This is like morning, morning, morning. People are saying morning, morning. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the Roadrunner where he says, good morning, Sam and then goes out and tries to eat the guy. Anyway, 
this boom. Thankful. Exactly. Exactly. Good morning from Houston. Mark, I will get you information today. Good morning from Madison. Craig, good morning. And Dylan, what do you got to say here? Dylan from Orlando, when you reach out to serve, the rewards come back in several forms. Nothing happens when we wait for people to come to us. Reaching out matters. I concur. I also, and just to, this is a note for everybody, not for Dylan by himself. When I write, I write in the first person singular, never in the first person plural. I am this writer. I don't write to include the audience. I write to make sure that the audience feels value from my thinking or my strategies or my philosophy. So nothing happens when you wait for people to come to you. And that way they feel it's more directed at them. Morning all, fulfilled through new learning. Exactly. And that is from Calgary. Are the Flames still in it? You know, I think the last surviving team in the NHL from Canada are the Canucks. And this will be like the 32nd year or something that they haven't won a Stanley Cup in their own country. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And good morning from Los Angeles. What will bring success to me is continuing the direct line series. I agree. Digested six lessons while shredding documents. Let me tell you something. Direct line, Earl Nightingale, direct line, available on YouTube. Every single episode is available. Please, please make it a priority. to Just listen to one lesson a day. Listen to 15 minutes a day. You can start them anywhere. Everything that this guy says in that series is gold. I mean gold. Good morning. The investing time in Wednesday coach call. Thank you. Listening to Joe Soto later in the week. Cool. All through the Insiders Club. Have you gotten into the club yet? Don't miss out. Your company. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. It's Gittimer. Back on. Slash Insiders Club. There you go. Just go there. I promise you. I promise you. The rewards will be amazing. Literally amazing. Just hang in there. <laughs> Elliot likes Ringo better. Okay. Uh, I get by with a little help from my friends. I believe that's Ringo. Not sure. Um, honey, don't Ringo. Yeah, Purdue. Look, the the morning shout outs are, are unbelievable. Vongole is the best. Exactly. With a lot of garlic, olive oil, fresh herbs, and pasta. I concur. I, I eat pomodoro sauce with it. It makes it more superb. And bread, of course. Hello from Key Largo. You're so close to Key West. Why don't you just keep on driving for more while? I just, I don't understand it. Lennon. <laughs> exactly. Good morning, coach. Good morning, yes, team. My plan is to find a company to help. As an employee or service provider, go for it, dude. You can do it. Lennon, you've got to hide your love away. Yeah, I, it, it's unbelievable. The, the depth of Lennon as a writer and a performer is, I don't know, it's, it's the best. I, I don't know of anybody better. There are some people that come close, and I can name a bunch of them, you know, um, I mean, you have to consider Pink Floyd as part of the deal, who all the members of the group. Um, and, of course, uh, Knopfler from, from Dire Straits, of course, as a performer. And we can start naming people left and right, but I'm a Brian Ferry fan. If you have not watched um, Like a Hurricane on YouTube musically, you have lost. It's the best live performance I've ever seen. Like a hurricane, Brian Ferry, live from Lyon, France. Um, it's a Neil Young song. He covers the song. Just saying. Eleanor Rigby, McCartney. Good morning from Chandler. Long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. I agree. I agree. Isn't it cool when you can recite lyrics? Um, I thought of one for you, um, Justin, for, for, uh, 
CBD oil, you can take the Rolling Stone song under my thumb and rename it under my tongue. Just thinking. Paul McCartney, I will. Uh, good morning from Dyersville, Iowa. And by the way, for those of you who like McCartney better than Lennon, you're certainly entitled to your wrong opinion. Just saying. Lennon, this boy, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Philippines has checked in. I just love this. A very good morning to you. Dan, I have a feeling Dan is a, a Lennon guy. I haven't read the thing yet, but it's just my personal feeling, just knowing Dan. And I will be seeing Dan in a couple weeks. Morning from San Clemente here, my grandfather, third birthday, big Zoom presentation at 11. Cool. Your time, 8 a.m. here. Go for it. Be successful. Happy Monday. Thank you. Beth, good morning from Chelsea, Michigan. Good morning to you, Beth. Good morning from Burnaby. Great success, having great success with Hippo Video. Of course, it's unbelievable. Grazie, prego. Edmund, Tirana, Albania has shown up again. This is, I mean, the people from all over the world are just happy to be here. And I'm happy to serve them. I'm so happy to serve them, I can't stand it. I love travel. I love meeting people from all over the world. But now I can meet them here every morning at 9.59 a.m. Boom. Internet trouble, finally. Doing it on Monday at 10 o'clock. Okay, it's cool. Back to 9.59 tomorrow. Perfect. McCartney, Golden Slumbers. Oh, my gosh. Jim Rohn, The Ultimate Collection. The Ultimate Collection on Audible is amazing. Just, just get it. Just, I'm just telling you, thank you, Ken. If you want to put a link in there, do that, too. Tell Jennifer Gittimer thanks for the shout out on Instagram. She ended up launching our new website. Oh, cool. And the orders were flowing. That's so cool. I love that. Joe Williams this week, using my newfound training from a new normal course to host Zoom meetings, earn some new clients. This makes me feel good, brings me new income so I can do fun things for me and with my family. Pretty simple. Oh, and be better than I was yesterday. So reading and applying. Cheers. This is beautiful. Totally beautiful. Thank you, Joe. Beth, what up? Happy first day of class at Adrian College. And happy first day to you. I'm a Harrison Beatles. And oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that's, that's cool. While my guitar gently weeps. That's fine. It's totally fine. Harrison would get one song per album or two songs per album, and Ringo would get one song, and the rest were Lennon McCartney. But they were prolific, very, very prolific. I get by with a little help from my friends. Do, 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 do. Fulfillment is solving the thorniest issues for my clients. I concur. When is your new book planned to be published? Before the end of the year, I hope. But I'm... Hmm. At the mercy of the publisher. Little Red Book, listen to it 1.5 times this weekend. Dude, the Little Red Book, it's 15 years old. It has never been changed. Not one word. 15 years old, it will still sell somewhere between 25 and 50,000 copies a year for the rest of its life. It's already sold over a million copies just in America, 5 million copies globally. It's a blessing for me. You have no idea. Yep. And people are acknowledging Toru. Love all your stuff. Gladys, thank you. Thank you so kindly. Good morning, Charles. Gratitude is the first step in your new life. No argument with that. Toru, congrats to Takuma Sato for winning the Indy 500. Oh, yeah, that's true. He was kissing the ground. I think he's won it one time before. Anthony, good morning. And hey, Ken Walls and Mannion, good morning. A year from now, you may wish you had started today. Karen Lamb, exactly correct. Good morning, Misty. Day two to 30, you could have stopped. Once you clicked past 31, you had momentum. Congratulations on 160. I concur. I, I, but you know what? It's become momentum for me, not just for the audience. And 
I'm so grateful for it. I can't stand it. It's unbelievable. Some people are studying roots. Others are gathering fruit. It depends on what end you want to get in on. Jim Rohn. Oh, my God. That's so good. That's so good. I'm saving that one. Gaskell, the universe has changed. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Marcus Aurelius, I'm coming at you. Live from my last week in Falls Church, Virginia. Wow, Marcus Aurelius said that too? No, I think Chris is moving. I, I have a feeling. Moving to Jersey. Coach. Coach Man. Williams? Exactly. For this venue, my Beatles song would be Help. <laughs> That's cool. There goes Robert with yet another great thought. Right on, brother. Right on. Exactly. Right on. I like that. Met up with a friend who served with the French Foreign Legion last week. And Jim Rohn and his wisdom was one of the topics we discussed. Isn't that cool? That's just... Jim Rohn is... Um, Calm inspiration. He never stood up and preached it. He just said it, and other people wrote it and lived it. I did. And images of 30, Jeremy Kent, your Monday morning thoughts set the tone for the whole week. Seeing yourself get stronger, living, fulfilling, and happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah, yeah. Shared it. Thank you very kindly for sharing. Good morning from Wisconsin. Good morning to you. My wife and I do our reach in. Whoa. Say it again. There's a typo. Come on, Mark, say it again. Success is in doing the work, loving what we do and do it as well as we can. Staying focused on my work will create success for me. You're exactly correct, Dylan. You're exactly correct. No flames. Know the flames are, all right, I'll accept a redo. Don't do bad business with good people. Don't do good business with bad people. Fred, exactly correct. Exactly correct. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a marvelous Monday. Joining from beautiful Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Mary, Venice, Florida. And Jessica, what do you got to say? My mom, what, what is this? We love what? We love what we attend. Cool, cool. And my mantra, good energy brings out good energy. Bring Good energy out brings good energy in. Start today with some kindness to set your tone for the day. You will bring more value to others when in a positive mood or frame of mind. And here is where I posted the Insiders Club. Just go there, invest in yourself. Be part of the program. Some surprises are coming and really, really cool ones. Great big old hashtag Mega My Morning, my friends. Randy Chafee with family for breakfast. Balance, baby. Make this your best day ever until tomorrow. Cheers. Boom. And Bruce, good morning from Richmond, Virginia. The genesis of Gitterman Nation. <laughs> oh, Bruce. You, you can't. Talk to the, I mean, Bruce and I spent um, about a year together uh, back in the early 80s. And you can't, you can't erase that. It just doesn't, never goes away. It's always some memory of whether it's a, a bat ball or just having a good time. Cheers to you, Bruce. Favorite Beatles song, Don't Let Me Down. Goosebumps every time. And yep, direct line is overflowing with gold. No argument. Um, and Don't Let Me Down is a Lennon song. Good morning, Robert. Good evening, Taru. Paul was the most dominant and influential Beatle. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Um, my book, The Wisdom of Father, the first of 35 chapters, is concentration on the elimination of thought. Started thanks to COVID and you. Cool. Concentration is the elimination of thought. I like this. Michael, send it to me. You have my address. The Rooney 
and the Rizzo live stream webinars are must watches. I completely concur. If you're not following Martin Rooney, something's wrong. Something's drastically wrong. Trainingforwarriors.com. Good morning, Robert. Mark, sales concepts, that gap. Mark, can you message me, please? Um, just send me an email, jeffrey at gittimer.com. And say, hey, this is Mark Gassert. Ba 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 ba. I'll send you something back. Come on, do it this morning. Do it now. Jeffrey at gittimer.com. Mark Gassert says, hey, go. Make sure I have your phone number in case I want to call you. George Harrison, tax man. <laughs> yeah. Shared. Hey, Rich. Jesse. Oh, Jeff Lynn. Wow. <laughs> God. A flood of memories. A flood. I have spent hours, hours and hours with Jeff Lynn and my rock and roll fantasies have been completely fulfilled. Completely. Completely, completely. I am ever so grateful for my time in rock and roll with ELO. Wild how involved Yoko was in writing the lyrics. Song is more pertinent now than ever. Concur. Good morning to you. Tax man living in California. Extra special meeting. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Lennon, imagine. Under my tongue, I love it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> my wife and I do outreach to East Vancouver homeless. It's shocking to witness, but we feel grateful for our amazing life to try to help people that have horrible addictions. Well, sad, we find it feels good to give back. Cool. One year, I took the twins and Rebecca. I think the twins were about mm, 10 or 11. Rebecca was three or four. And I we gave away Christmas to an unfortunate, to a family on welfare in New Jersey, Camden, New Jersey. Those kids never said a word. We walked into a pretty empty place and just gave them our gifts. Thanksgiving dinner, uh, Christmas dinner. And it was my best Christmas ever, I can tell you that. Giving it away feels great. Still curious how a second income stream will happen. Uh, they don't happen. You make them happen. Good morning for Lauderdale. Best way to get out of sales slump is go back to the people that you sold. Ask them why they bought. Try to get from them a testimonial about who you are, something socially, some maybe something video, maybe something on your iPhone, and remind yourself about how you won in the past, and that will give you a path to winning in the future. No other way. Beer on the patio. That sounds Canadian. Watch the Ed Sullivan Show. You'll see Paul is the reactor that drove the car. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Beep, 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 yeah. Joe Williams, watch the videos. Cool. Benton, what up? Everyone forgets George. He was so talented. Check out the solo albums. All you need to know, check out the Traveling Wilburys with Jeff Lynn and Bob Dylan and Roy Orbison and George Harrison. Check that out. And Tom Petty. And uh, every once in a while, um, other people would show up. Dave Edmonds. What a group of people. I'm just telling you, what a group of people. Never be, never happen again. Sorrentino, good morning. All you need is love. Do, 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 do. Good morning, Jeffrey. I'm now freshly in Linden, New Jersey, working on a video project. Our, used any boot to get the, our, our any boot used to get the job. I love that. I totally love that. Way to go, dude. Brianna, good morning. Happy to be here today. Life is a gift, and you are the giver. And I, I challenge you, go out and give today. Go, It'll make you feel so damn good. Good morning, everybody. Justin Benton again. Nothing existed before Elvis. John Lennon. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, actually, uh, many of the Beatles songs were inspired by early doo-wop groups like the Drifters and Little Richard and Barrett Strong, I need money. 
do, 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 do. Listen to the Beatles. They will tell you the history of where they came from through their music. Thank you, Jason. My pleasure. I drive morning to meet customer and wherever. Good. Because of your remarks about writing a book and how to go forward with that, I found the subject to write about. Thank you, Mary. My pleasure. Coachman, good morning. You will never know the real joy of living until you come into a full understanding of the principle of service. Napoleon Hill, truthful living with me. I concur on that, by the way, a thousand percent. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to Coach Phil's email newsletter. They're on fire. Cool. Phil, put your email in there so people will subscribe to it. The account is on my CRM. I call it, I might as well earn the sale. Think about it. Dude, go. And there you go, Williams. Got it. Brian Monahan posted a video from Jeffrey Gittimer on his LI profile. If you say it, it's self-promotion or bragging. If it's a famous New York Times bestselling author says it about you, it's a testimonial. It's proof. That's correct. Love Brian Monahan. The shortcut to success sucks. I agree. I agree. The flame foot Phil meant to say is that Dallas Stars snuffed out the flames. Aha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dallas is still there. Randy Chafee, my type of guy. The link was for the ultimate Jim Rohn. Oh, cool. Here it is. This is for the ultimate Jim Rohn collection. It's unbelievable. 55 bucks, so well worth it. I think there was one guy in reviews complaining that it was too expensive. What a jackass. What do you think his bank account looks like? <laughs> You can't better every, right, exactly. Some people are just fucking, well, pardon my French. Some people just don't get it <clears throat> in my life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly in my life. Isn't it, isn't it unbelievable? Isn't it unbelievable how many songs the Beatles wrote that are standards, literally? I'll tell you a story about that some other day. Integrated with Hippo. Good. Oh, they, you want Outstand to be integrated with Hippo? Just write them and ask them. I'm sure they'll do it. Ordered Rocket Book Executive Flip Notebook Sets for my team this AM. Thank you, Ken Walls. Whoa, cool. Michelle, <laughs> used Outstand too. Who's your rep? Outstand is good. Outstand is really, really good. Justin, Traveling Wilburys was so good, underrated, handled with care. Yeah. And they were all produced by Jeff Lynn, by the way, who is arguably one of the best record producers ever. Produced Tom Petty, produced Dave Edmonds. Just an unbelievable producer. And, of course, Electric Light Orchestra and the original Electric Light Orchestra with Roy Wood called The Move. Oh, baby. Go buy all songs by The Move. The Move. Try. <sighs> Charles Coachman saw Jeff Lynn last summer. Loved it. What about Glenn Miller? What about Glenn Miller? My <laughs> my father and grandfather's hotel, the St. Clair Hotel, was right down the street from the Steel Pier. And all of the big band people stayed at our hotel. And I was too little to know that I probably sat on Glenn Miller's knee. Traveling Wilbur is an amazing collection of talent. I concur. Isn't this cool? Hey, Bruce. Cool. And here's where to subscribe to Phil at CoachPhil.ca, and his newsletter will start to come at you. I recommend that you get it. And, uh, dude. Cool. Cool. The ability to think. No argument with that. Traveling Wilburys, don't forget the late Roy Orbison. His voice is so distinctive. I will never forget Roy Orbison. And... If you want to see one of the coolest things on the planet, go watch Black and White Night, where you will also see um, some of the best lead guitar. Uh, Bruce Springsteen is Roy Orbison's backup, OMG. And you're going to see some unbelievable people on that, like Jackson Brown singing backup. 
Um, just my suggestion, wait till you see the credits. Wait till you just watch Springsteen at the end when they're walking off the stage and who he sends his accolades to. Ooh. And there you go. And tomorrow morning at 9.59, my butt's going to be back on here talking to you guys about what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and all the things that go in between. Please go to the newnormalcourse.com. Uh, the, excuse me, Insiders Club, gitmer.com slash Insiders Club. I'm leaving you with that message. Go there, sign up, see you at the next live where I jump on this week. I'm not going to tell you what day, but I certainly will tell you that I will be there. And tomorrow morning, new discussion, new topic, new you, and go have fun today. All day, have fun today. Successful day.